J and I am back with another weekend reading vlog. It is currently Friday. It's actually 6.30 at night right now. I had work all day starting at 7 until 3.30 and then me and my mom went to Costco and then I went and took a shower. I'm just getting into filming the intro right now but we're back with another reading vlog. I don't honestly know how much reading will be done because tonight me and my mom are planning to watch the new like R.L. Stein's Fear Street part three that came out today. We've watched the first two parts and we really like them so we're you know watching the finale. That's the plan for tonight and then tomorrow I am going to get my hair done and it's going to be purple again and I am so freaking excited because it's been like a year and I am just itching to get it done again because I miss my purple hair so much so that's at 9 a.m. and then it usually takes about like two to three hours to do my purple hair fully so I don't actually know what reading is going to be done because usually on Saturday night I go to my boyfriend Will's house. This might just end up being a weekend in my life kind of video instead of a reading vlog. I will talk about what I'm reading right now really quick just so that we can say that there's some reading. I also have a package that I got from Simon & Schuster that my mom is going to open because she always does my unboxings so we can see what book that is. But I am currently reading For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. I'm pretty much done. I just have the epilogue left and I love it. It's really good. I'm probably gonna end up giving it a four out of five stars unless like the epilogue blows my mind but it basically follows Red who is a second daughter which means that she is the sacrifice for the wilder woods and the wolf. Every century or every time there's a second daughter in the royal family they are sacrificed to the woods in order to get the wolf to send back the five kings that he like kidnapped or something. I honestly am not sure on that part but he either kidnapped them or they were sacrificed or something, I don't know. But it's the hopes of getting them returned to the kingdom. So when she goes to the woods to be sacrificed, she finds out that the wolf is more of a man and he's actually really sweet and they like fall for each other. And it's actually really good. It's definitely been getting quite a bit of love on booktube and I do think that it is worth the love. But yeah, I'm probably gonna finish this either tonight after my mom and I watch Fear Street or tomorrow morning before I go and get my hair done but I'm liking it probably four out of five stars. I do know that it's going to have a second book for the throne. I mean the story will continue and I'll definitely be checking it out because like I said I'm enjoying it. But yeah that's what I'm reading. I have done like no reading this month which is so weird to me because it is the 16th right now of July and usually by this point I've read like 12 books. I have read three technically four but one was my textbook for school and I just counted it in my Goodreads goal because I was like if I have to read a textbook front to back it's going in the Goodreads goal so obviously I'm not going to talk about that in my wrap up and also like nobody cares so three books on the 16th which is insane to me almost four I guess because I'm almost done this one but that is nothing for me work has been killer because I've just had no time to read I've been working the 9 30 to 6 shift for the past two weeks and then this week I got to work the 7 to 3 30 shift so I did have a little bit more time for reading which is when I finished these three books and next week I also work the 7 to 3 30 so I should be able to get done like maybe two or three more books which is still like nothing for me so it's kind of sucky but then July 26th I start my final placement for school which means there will be absolutely no reading but it's four weeks and I finish on August 20th so I'll probably end up reading like a couple books in the final week of August but then I also am going back to work at the place where I'm working right now after my placement is over which means depending on what shift I get if I get the 9 30 to 6 shift then reading will not happen but if I get the 7 to 3 30 shift then reading will happen I doubt I'll get that shift though because I'm thinking I'm going back to the toddler room which is gonna suck I don't want to be in that room I prefer the school age which is what I'm in right now and freaking loving it it's the best thing ever and I'm having so much fun with them but I don't like toddlers I just can't handle them not being able to talk to me it drives me insane I need to have like constant conversations throughout the day and not having that drove me crazy for two weeks and that's why I am just loving the school age kids which is the age group I'm usually with and I just get along with those kids better because like I don't know I get them they get me I don't know toddlers don't get me well 
they do get me, but like they don't talk back, so it's just annoying, you know? I also just hate tears. Why I'm becoming an ECE? I don't know. It's kind of stupid of me, but here we are. Oh, it's a book for me. What can it be? It's a book for me. No, it's not. It's from Simon & Schuster. So are you expecting something? It's the time when they send out like, the seasonal stuff, so I don't know what it is, but... Oh. Have you heard of this one? No, I have no idea what it's about. Thanks for letting me open it. That was fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, I had to pay more attention because there were times I wasn't getting it. It took a while for us to figure out that it was... Well, you just spoiled it for everybody. <laughs> I thought that this was the best out of the three. What did you think? Well, because it pulled it all together. Yeah. Right? Once we figured it out. Rate them. Which was the best? Which was the middle? Which was the worst? I would go three, two, one, just because trying to figure it all out. Really? Because, because the second one made sense once you watched it. The first one, each one made the other one make more sense. Yeah, but I, I liked the third one. And then the first one, and then the second oh, one. Oh, yeah? The second one took so long to, like, actually get interesting. Because it was all the backstory of the camp and stuff. And I was like, somebody yes. die. It took so long for somebody to die. <laughs> well, that's our review of Fear Street Part 3. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to! Mom doesn't care at all. I'm so excited. This is like the most waiting. exciting thing. You've been waiting over six months for this. Yes, I've been waiting so long. I can't even remember the last, was it more than a year? It was July last year was the really? last time I had my hair purple. And James is moving away, probably to Tennessee. So this is the last time I'll get my hair purple. Unless he comes back, which he says he's gonna come back, but. Mm. I just can't see that happening. You know what, we're gonna get it on film. We're gonna go and film him making this confessional. So then anytime he goes, no, I'm not coming back, I'm gonna be like, I have you on film stating that you are coming back every month. And I'll never see the gremlin again. James. What? Say it again. When are you coming back? Maybe every <laughs> once a month. I have it on <laughs> film. Now you She's have to come here. back. Yes. Oh, and a dog. I said maybe. Ha! No, um, we're I saying. I said maybe. <laughs> no, you're coming back and doing my hair. I don't trust other people, James. Yeah, but you're not going to get your hair done once a month, are you? No, but you well, have to. You okay, anytime I want it done, I'll be like, James, you're coming down. You'll be like, okay, this yeah, month. You have to come back once every six weeks. Why? That's my schedule. That's dad's schedule. <laughs> Your mom's is whenever she's desperate and needs it done. Are you just gonna sit here the whole time? Is that what's happening? Our passport's done, and I'm talking to the lady. And I'm like, well, what's the possibility hmm. of? Remember, this is a really, really dark one. So this is the one going on your route. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> she found my. Birthday. What's the possibility of? <laughs> Okay, see, that's just looking at me straight in the eyes. Like, why? It's just like, I'm gonna fuck you up. Mom's scared of this. I, I hate cats. She's a Jesus. baby. She's so So, are the kids good. still down there then? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put the wrong cape on you. She can rip this one. Mochi! Oh, <laughs> it's hilarious that you think this is funny and I'm mortified. She's not gonna hurt me, it's just hair. Are you done, Kat? No! I'm your friend, I love <laughs> you! Yeah, she blocked you. She's just mad because Mochi's getting attention and I know. she's not. <laughs> Shit, she's gonna put me on YouTube, isn't she? No. <laughs> I just realized she's putting me on YouTube. She's eating my hair now. Oh! <laughs> Ow! You got claws, girl. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he does it on purpose, I swear. It was accidentally on purpose. Mm-hmm. That's it. Accidentally on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> We're purple again! Happy camper? I'm so happy. And look, I got a Nashville horse and a glitter pen for watching his dog and animals. He got it all over me. He got it all over my shorts. See, all over my leg because there was hair dye inside of the like cape thing that he put on. Yeah. All over mom. It's everywhere because 
that little bit got inside the cape and then it was game over and then it just spread and it's like all over that my was arms. when he did the thing on his hands and he like puts gloves on and puts it all over his hands and then just like runs it through my hair and uh it just got everywhere so we have to go try to get all of this off my face but he got a lot of it off so we just have to hope that it comes out of my shorts because i like my shorts and your shirt she got a dot on her shirt good thing it's laundry day and now we're gonna go to the library because i have two books to I finally have purple hair again, which I already got, showed you guys, but I'm obsessed. I love it so much, but I figured I would update you guys on my reading since this is supposed to be a reading vlog, not a hair vlog, but I finished For the Wolf yesterday. I ended up giving it a four out of five, like I said I was going to. I really liked the ending. It worked well. It leads up to the second book. I'm really excited to see where that goes. And then immediately after I finished this, I picked up a Star Eater by Kristen Hall. This one is really interesting so far. I'm only four chapters in, five chapters in, and it's about like cannibalistic nuns. I'm not 100% sure like how it all ties together, but all I know is that there's cannibalistic nuns and a really complex magic system. I mean, I'm definitely intrigued. It says Star Eater takes readers deep into a perilous and uncanny world where even the most powerful women are forced to choose what sacrifices they will make so that they might have any choice at all. I have no idea what's going on, but there are cannibalistic nuns and there's a giant cat that she wrote to go see her mom to eat her body part. So, I don't know. I'm very confused. But now I'm just waiting for Will to come pick me up because I only see him on the weekends now because I'm always at work. So it's the only time I get to see him. So I'm going to go to his house, probably play with Remy. You guys know Remy. He's the little puppy. He's adorable. I love him. That's the plan. Just waiting for him to pick me up. And I got him a huge bag. Uh, hold on. I gotta get it. Saltwater taffy because he really likes it. Picked it up at Costco for him yesterday and I'm gonna surprise him and maybe I'll film it to see his face because I never buy him anything because I'm a cheap motherfucker and also he only likes food <laughs> so I usually just bring him candy that I already have from like my stash because I got a stash candy in my room but now I bought him something specific for him so he needs to love me that's the plan but yeah I have to go pack because I haven't done that yet <laughs> no Locking my face sorry we're at Starbucks and Will's making me order over top of him because he's scared I'm not scared I just don't really like so you're gonna order, order? no because he's scared to order. Because Starbucks is confusing. They have weird names for shit. No, they don't. Watch our order. It's the easiest order ever. This is the gift I gave Will because he's a teddy bear. No, and he's a little a bit, you yeah, know. <laughs> Hi, can we get a venti mango dragon fruit lemonade, please? And a venti strawberry coconut drink, please? That's it. Thank you. The easiest <laughs> order ever. And then what are we doing? We're getting food, but then going home. Yeah, food and then home. Two. Remy. Oh, Remy Boo. So exciting. Yes, because apparently spending time with me isn't good enough. She has to spend time with the puppy. Okay, well, I only see him once a week. Oh, do they know you're purple yet? Well, obviously. What do you mean? They have eyes. Like, have you done like, hey, I got my purple hair back. Yeah, I filmed with James. Oh. Right, I received the fact that it was ev everywhere. Yeah. He's a baby. Hey there, there, dog. <laughs> well, you guys are in the garden, so why can't you be in the garden? Wait, 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 wait. Remy's following. It's heavy. Okay, open. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Big pack. Sour grape, caramel swirl, sour, ooh, sour cherry. Raspberry lemonade, strawberry banana, passion fruit. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Sour lemon and orange creme. <laughs> Remy's behind you like, throw the ball. <laughs> throw the ball. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Yum. <laughs> throw the ball. <laughs> oh, down the stairs, go. Go get it. <laughs> See you later. I'll be back in a minute. I want to try that one. The caramel swirl? Yeah, all the other ones. Okay. Up. We'll try them later. Okay. Oh, he's back. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> you knew it was there the whole time. Scoomy. <laughs> Scoomy. Scoomy. Yeah, put it right here. 
No drop, only fetch. Are you coming up too? Come on. Are you coming up? No. He just wants to feel included. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's saltwater taffy. I've it's, never had saltwater taffy. It's a little firm. And then once you warm it up in your mouth, it gets really gooey. It tastes like caramel. I wonder why caramel swirl tastes like caramel. I mean, it's good, but it hurt my tooth. Rate it on a scale from one to 10. Like a seven, because it hurt my tooth. Because you chomped into it like it was a piece of hard candy. Well, I didn't know. I never had saltwater taffy. You have to try one. Raspberry lemonade. Don't chew it. You're supposed to chew it. No, it hurts. Eight and a half out of ten. Very good. Success. Good present. You're gonna eat them all in one night. Nope. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I think yours is just literally caramel. It tastes like those um, Werther candies. Werther's? Yeah, the ones that old ladies have in their purse. What, what one is, is that one? I think it's the passion fruit one. Yeah, like a nine. You're just giving them all so high. Because they're so good. <laughs> we counted all of them in the bag, and there's how many? 112. Yay! But I still say caramel is the best one. I think you're wrong. Well, nobody asked you, so. <laughs> just stating my opinion. <laughs> it's my opinion! <laughs> it is 11 o'clock. She <laughs> left me alone for four hours in the dark. <laughs> Now you know how I feel every weekend. <sighs> we're back to saltwater taffy. Um, we're trying new flavors. Jay and I are both gonna try the lemon flavor. Definitely getting like lemon meringue pie vibes. Mm. Okay, hold on. 8.9 out of 10. 8.9? <laughs> yes. My turn. You're supposed to warm it up in your hand first if it's that hard to chew. I have sensitive teeth. <sighs> wait till it, you start to salivate. I give this one an 8.5. Just wait for it. Caramel's still better. I disagree. Okay, let's try caramel then. Jay says that caramel is the best best one so far. I beg to differ. Here we go. Well, that one's a, oh, that one's really firm. I told you, it like broke my tooth. It's gonna pull out your filling and then what, are you gonna blame me for buying the yes. video? It tastes like a Werther's. That's what I told you. Like a six. I love Werther's. I like the sour cherry and the sour lemon best. Well, you're wrong. And the passion fruit's pretty good. I haven't had that one. I have sour cherry. I gave that one what? Like a nine yesterday? I don't know. I can't open it. Oh, because yeah. I'm opening it the wrong way. I'm still asleep. It tastes like medicine. Are you fried? <laughs> it's medicine. You're broken. Yeah. No! No, I want it on film. What did you say? Starbucks coffee is expensive and tastes like ash. No, that's not what you said. He said that he likes Starbucks coffee and he's always said he hates it and it tastes like ass. And now, because we got Starbucks and he drank some of mine because I drank some of his. These people are going to think I'm rolling in money since we always say we got Starbucks every weekend. Okay, no they're not because Americans always go to Starbucks. It's like, or Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, no, they have Dunkin'. We don't have Dunkin'. How expensive is Dunkin'? Good question. Link I think, that it's, I think it's cheaper, isn't it? For... Is there Dunkin' like our Timmy's? I think so. I don't know. They I have mean, Tim like, Hortons now. You can though. never go wrong with a Timmy's coffee. A large is like two bucks. Okay, but a venti of Starbucks is only three something. For a coffee? For this, it's like three something. Three. Oh, right, right, right. It's our drinks, the, the fruity one that you get. That makes sense. Yeah, that's because they have to do more work. <laughs> <laughs> Attack! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Watch, he'll break your nose too. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things with this demon boy. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna bite you back. I'm gonna bite you back. Yeah, run away. Ow! <laughs> he broke my nose, guys. Ow! <laughs> Last night. <laughs> We were lying in the bed and he came in attacked. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! We're good now? Or do you, do you see Will?
See, now like 30 seconds later, he's chill again. Are you chill? Oh, it's the phone. Anytime the phone's out, he attacks. Oh. Oh, I wasn't ready that time. He was tricking you. Ow! Stop biting me! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bunny. Oh, good boy! <gasps> See? And then sometimes he's good. <laughs> I have war wounds. So my sweater. My sweater? My sweater? My sweater? My sweater? Look at my war wound! Look at it! You are a demon child. Break my nose, give me a whatever that is, huge scratch. Don't touch my sweater.